Hello sweethearts and welcome back to my home. My name is Robin Elizabeth and you have joined Delight in Discipling. I thank you for being here today. I am so excited about this day in this video. This is in celebration of my one year anniversary on YouTube and I have presents for you and I have much to share about what I'm looking forward to in the next year and uh, where I've been and some details about the channel. This channel is designed to equip and encourage Christian women to engage in discipleship relationships. And I have tried to do that consistently. This is my 44th video in 52 weeks. So I'm pretty excited about that. My goal was one a week, but 44 is pretty darn close. And with the pandemic, it had some challenges, but um, I'm very, very excited to um, have published 44 videos. So I thank you for being with me. So this video is going to be brief. I have four things that I'm going to share with you, beginning with um, my YouTube journey. I'm going to cover the um, summary of some of my accomplishments in this year, thanks to you. The second item, I'm going to uh, fill you in on my uh, plans for the next year. My third point will be um, to ask you what do you want and to talk to you about the gifts that I have for you. And the fourth thing is to help you if you want to start a YouTube channel. I will give you some hints and some tips about how I learned how to get as far as I have. So as I just said, I have 44 videos, this one being the 44th, and I have 191 subscribers. Now that may not seem like a lot to you, those of you that maybe have YouTube channels and have a gazillion subscribers, but for me, I'm very pleased that I have 191 followers. And I thank you to each and every one of you that have a followed or subscribed to my channel. It's um, it's just good for my soul to hear that I have women that are um, watching regularly. Uh, of the 44 videos, I have done 16 interviews. That's about a third of my content is interviews. And I'll tell you a little bit more about what my hopes are for next year. But I think that's good. A proportion of a third is um, pretty good. Um, we have looked at over a hundred passages of scripture in those 44 videos and some more in depth than others, but I feel like we have some good content, um, scriptural based content, and I'm very pleased with that. Remarkably, when I looked at my notes and the description notes for my up to my 42nd video, um, I had over 200 resources that I provided to you um, in regards to your Christian journey, your spiritual growth, and, uh, oh, and including some hair products. <laughs> but I was really pleased about that because I so want this channel to be a resource to you. And the fact that I have talked about or given you over 200 resources was very um, pleasing to me and I hope helpful to you. You may know or may not know that YouTube um, does a lot of research uh, for us as creators and provide a lot of analytical information. I'm just going to give you um, two things that were noteworthy to me and that are important to me. So of the, so these are statistics based on 42 videos because I obviously have to record in advance. So in 42 videos, um, I have uh, almost, almost 6,600 views. That is amazing to me for a, a small channel, for a beginner YouTuber, for someone who does not do a lot of kind of jazzy stuff or radical things. It's just real steady and patient and wanting to um, help women in discipleship. 6,600 hours to me is a lot of time in one year's time in 42 videos. The, um, did I, if I said hours, I meant views, 6,600 views. I have 825 hours of viewing time. Again, that for someone who has done this for years 
or it has, is flamboyant and gets a lot of attention, that doesn't seem like a lot. But how that translates to me is 70 hours a month, somebody is looking at this channel. And for every minute that they listen, they're hearing more about God, more about Jesus, more about the Christian walk and the Christian journey. And hopefully we are planting seeds. And the video that you just watched a week ago, of course, was on the sower, um, parable of the sower, and was all about seed planting. So I'm really, really excited about that. So again, um, if, I, if I mess this up, 6,600 views with 825 hours of viewing time. So that to me is just thrilling. The next thing I wanted to share with you is what my plans are for the next year. I made quarterly goals for myself, some of which I've uh, been able to keep and others are still I'm kind of um, uh, working through and getting done. But for over the course of the next year, I've had many, many people ask me if I am willing to do a podcast. So there is a way that I can um, post, or I don't even know the term, <laughs> but where these videos would um, translate to a podcast. Obviously, you wouldn't see me, and but the reality is there isn't much to see on my videos except maybe some background of my home or how I did my hair that day or what pretty blouse I'm wearing. But um, I have heard that many women watch these videos as a podcast. They just turn it on and walk around the house listening to it or taking a walk. And I've had a number, many people ask me if I would um, convert these into a podcast. So that's one of my goals for the next year. I'm hoping to do that. Secondly, I already have a website, um, but I have not launched the website. So my hope is to do that and to provide free resources that anytime I have anything that's free, I can post it on there. You can download it, print it, and use it in any, in any fashion you want. I also have contacted a girlfriend of mine, uh, thank you, Christy, <laughs> that is uh, going to partner with me in creating some things, some handouts, some free a checklist, just things that I write that Christy will make pretty and uh, cute for you and you can download. So I hope to accomplish that in the next year. Um, the next thing is I really want to figure out how to do a community uh, connection. I do not have enough subscribers yet. Um, I think I told you in a previous video I need to have a thousand subscribers to use some of the features on YouTube. So I hope to be able to do that in the next year is to reach a thousand and um, make a, a community tab that we can interface with one another. You could get to know one another better and encourage one another, especially when we're commenting and somebody needs some help or encouragement. We can do that together. So I'm hoping to accomplish that. And the last thing is I hope to do more interviews. Of my top uh, videos, my top 10 videos, and, and of course YouTube gives you all the analytics, of my top 10 videos, seven of them are interviews. And so that's apparent to me that you enjoy those the most, that perhaps you get the most out of those. And so I love doing interviews. I You can tell um, clearly I love the company of women and I love to hear their stories. And so I will kind of amp that up and do more interviews in the future. So um, item number three on my little agenda here is about you. It is about giving you some gifts. And I have decided on two resources that are two of my very favorite and I've talked about them multiple times in multiple videos. And I have them right here. Um, the first one is The Power of a Praying Wife, and I've shared with, this with you before. And um, you can select this um, uh, resource if this is what you want. And the second one is Paul David Tripp's New Morning Mercies, and I've talked about this so many times. Even I <laughs> am surprised how many times I mentioned this book, but it is a daily devotion. And over the course of a year, your mind and your life will be transformed in reading that devotion and doing the biblical study that he suggests. So those are the two resources. So this is how you get to get them. I want you to answer two questions and you can do it in the comments. And the um, first 12 women that I get um, that answer, so that's one gift per month, the first 12 women, 
can make a selection between those two books and I will ship them directly to your home. So these are the two questions you need to answer for me. It's what do you want or need in your Christian journey? What sort of content is help, most helpful to you in your Christian journey? What do you want to hear from an older woman, a woman who has walked with Jesus for 42 years faithfully, and if you count the years from my childhood, like 60 years, literally, I'm almost 68, so 60 years I've been walking with Jesus, but really committed for the last 42 years. What information do you want to hear from an older woman in this journey? So that's the number one question, is what do you want or need? And the second one is what would help you grow as a discipler? Where are you stuck that you're not reaching out and ministering to women, other women, girlfriends, younger women? Where are you stuck? What would help you? What content would help you be a better discipler? So answer those two questions for me. Uh, the, and if you're watching this, this is going to publish in September or late late August, early September of 2021. If you're watching this a year from now, go ahead and shoot me an email and, um, and I will reach out to you and see maybe what resource that you want. Uh, so thank you for that. So that's the third item on our agenda. Um, the fourth thing I wanna to talk to you about are for those of you who perhaps are considering a YouTube channel. So I'm gonna get kind of statistical here and give you a little bit of information. So that's pretty much if you only wanna know about the discipling part, you can turn this part of the video off. But if you are considering or you have a friend that's considering starting a YouTube channel, this is some information specifically for you. So the first thing I would tell you if you want to start a Christian YouTube channel is to start researching right now. Start brainstorming, researching what topic that you want to address and you need to narrow it down. Like my channel is specifically about discipleship and I try to every video you'll see I'm always talking about discipleship. Now we may go off on a tangent once in a while, but I always try to reap it. Um, bring it back to discipleship. So you need to figure out what it is you want to talk about. The most successful channels um, always on YouTube have a specific point that they're driving towards consistently. So um, I, I want to tell you a little bit about YouTube itself so that you can get your head around how impactful this medium is and how um, easy it is to get started and how minimal the Christian influence is here. It is so strategic for us to be on these platforms and have a voice. Now we don't have a huge audience. There's, there's, but you know, honestly, worldwide we don't have a, a huge audience. So it's no surprise that um, YouTube is reflective of the world. But we need to have our presence felt there, and we need to be influential. In um, May of 2019, so this is over two years ago, over 500 hours of our content are uploaded per minute, per minute. 500 hours are uploaded per minute. And I'm sure in two years time that that has increased. Over a billion hours of content are watched each day from YouTube. Just get your mind around that for a minute. A billion hours of content are watched each day on YouTube. It just blows your mind. A lot of it is useless information. It's not helpful. It's not redeemable. It's not, um, you know, it might be playful and it might be um, entertaining. But I'm talking about in the Christian content, in our little niche of Christian YouTube, we have an opportunity to break through that billion and have some minuscule impact. And for me, it is worth that little minuscule impact in someone's, woman, someone's life to change their heart and have them know Jesus better and understand God better. YouTube is the second largest or most popular website in the world. It is second only to Google and Google owns YouTube. So just think about that. If you are searching for something, 
you're most likely any sort of information, how to put a battery in a car, how to trim a toenail, I mean, anything at all mundane, or how to come to faith, the top two search engines in the entire world are Google, and second to Google is YouTube. So that's, that's the uh, opportunity that you face. So I strongly encourage you to begin your research Begin thinking, begin praying and asking your friends what niche, Christian niche on YouTube is missing that you can fill. The sources that I have found over the course of the last year, there are three sources that I have found the most helpful. Above all, above all other sources that I have looked at is Think Media with Sean Cannell. Think Media is a whole team of people and they have hundreds and hundreds of videos, over a million subscribers, and they cover everything from lighting to sound to camera to um, background to anything. It, it, anything you can imagine that's covered, content, um, research, keywords, and some of this you maybe don't even know, and that's okay. I didn't know it a year ago either. But my number one source, is uh, Think Media, Sean Cannell. Sean is a Christian. He is not um, does not hide the fact that he's a Christian. If you watch enough of his videos, you see that his faith um, is, is presented in his videos. And his uh, videos, some of my favorite videos, are how to get started. I would look through those, look through the hundreds of videos, look at his ones, particularly the ones that are most recent and see how you can get started. I trust his, his advice. I trust his recommendations. In fact, my lighting and um, microphone that's just out of camera view here were recommendations. And the video that I, excuse me, the video camera that I'm looking into was a recommendation from Sean Cannell. So that's my number one. The two other uh, resources that I absolutely love actually are podcasts. One is Kerry Newhoff podcast. He's a Canadian and he talks about leadership and he talks a lot about movement in the church. He is a, a Christian, a former pastor, and he uh, does a phenomenal job of being relevant and contemporary in what's going on in the Christian church today. In addition to his own podcast, the Kerry Newhoff podcast, he also co-hosts with David Kenneman, the Church Pulse Weekly. And that's a tremendous podcast that helped to me to understand the trends that are going in churches. And particularly, I listen to those particularly about uh, discipleship, obviously. The last thing I want to share with you before I say thanks and say goodbye is Galatians 6, 9. And this is a passage we've looked at before. I can tell you honestly that YouTube is a lot of work. It is um, tedious. Uh, editing is hard. You, I've shared with you that my friend Rhonda does most of my editing. The um, Just setting up the lighting, the camera, it, it takes up a lot of work. For every video, like this one for example, this is hopefully about a 15 minute video and I probably spent around five hours in preparation for this video and narrowing down my content and then I'll spend another couple of hours in the editing process before you ever see it. So it's a lot of work. I don't want you to think that this is easy, um, but it is worth it. When I think about 70 hours a week, excuse me, 70 hours a month that I have influenced a woman and I it produced these limited number of videos, that's tremendous. I am not able to spend 70 hours a month in discipleship face-to-face. -face. So this is sort of a supplement or an additional touch point for me um, in the discipleship endeavor. I'm clearly passionate about discipleship. Galatians 6, 9 is, And let us not grow weary in doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. I do not intend on giving up on this. For some, they would look at my progress and say, oh my goodness, why doesn't she just quit? I'm not going to quit. I'm going to continue to press on, grow this channel, increase my influence, and I beg you women <laughs> to get more involved in Christian discipleship. You are needed. Thank you ladies so much for watching this 
this video and watching all of my videos. Without you, I would have nothing. I would continue to produce videos <laughs> that no one saw, and that's not the case. You are faithful. You are good to me. Your comments are so appreciated. Be sure and answer those two questions. What do you need uh, or want in my content, and how can I help you become a better discipler? You answer those two questions, I'll contact you, and I will send you your resource of choice, either um, Power of Praying Wife or New Morning Mercies. Please share this video, especially for those of you that want to start a YouTube channel or you know of someone. Please do that. Please subscribe if you're not. Obviously, I have a lot of views and a lot of people watch that don't subscribe, so I'd really appreciate it if you do subscribe. Uh, but even if you don't, if you're just here stopping by, I love you and I thank you for being here. Have a delightful week, and I will see you again soon. I love you. Bye.